Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bell Hop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bell Hop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we're answering is, what's in the box in regards to this? This is a hero expansion for the Adventuria Adventure Card Game, a non-collectible card game from Ulysses Spiel, set in the world of the Dark Eye, or Dashwash Art. This is an English translation of a German game set in the world of the their, Germany's most popular role-playing game. So what I have here is one of the hero sets. So this is going to contain a new character you can play, as well as a short Adventure specifically tailored to that character. Now, what's very important to note at this point is that this hero set does include the a collection of tantalizing henchmen and also includes the Orgy of Thorns, which is an erotic adventure explicitly aimed at adult players. Now, I am going to do my best to not show any adult content on here because I don't, I haven't opened this. This is the whole point. We're going to unbox this. I don't know how suggestive it is or how not safe for work it is. So I'm going to try to avoid showing any outright nudity or anything like that. But fair warning for those of you here live, especially, um, there's a chance that there may be something here I shouldn't show on stream and I will try to avoid doing that. So now we're going to take a look inside the Eventuria Veil Dancer Hero Set. Again, this is an adults-only expansion for the Eventuria Adventure Card Game. All right, there we have it. The Eventuria Veil Dancer Hero Set. Nice small box hero expansion. Opening this up for the first time. Come on. Doesn't want to open. There we go. So we start off with a booklet. Oh, interesting. I, this is my first um, hero set I've actually opened from this. So we have the, the book here. We're going to open that. And we had, it starts right to the adventure. So Orgy of Thorns. I don't want to spoil anything here. So we have the adventure right off the bat. I'm going to just jump to the end. We are looking at um, 15 pages. This is the description of the new character. So I'm just going to back up one. Nope, this is the end of the adventure. Because I know this is a not safe for work adventure, that's all you get to see. Sorry, you're going to have to pick this one up to see if there's anything any more tantalizing inside this adventure. So it's just a single adventure. Um, I don't even know if it's a short adventure. So it is up to five heroes, five other heroes. So it is up to six players. So you need this character and up to five other heroes to play through Orgy of Thorns. Again, not going to look inside. Then we move on to our new character. So here we have our new character. I'm going to crack this open. I see some new henchmen. Probably go with the adventure. So we're going to start off with here is the new character you get to play, who is a veil dancer with various special abilities. Looks like they're pretty good at melee combat. A really good dodge. Wow, that is a fantastic dodge. That is a character with a nine dodge. That is really good. Special ability is some type of grace. Once per encounter... Place a thing up to two magic dance cards. So she must have some kind of magic dance cards that she'll be able to do. So then we have her stats. The highest, of course, being body control, which I think makes sense. Now we have a rule card specifically to her. So this is something I hadn't seen. So new rule elements that just apply to this character. It is two-sided. Though it looks like it's the same thing on both sides. Um, then we have their health tracker. We have a health tracker, and this is amusing. So one of my complaints about the original game is the health trackers in the original game just have uh, go up to plus 40. And they're the same on both sides. Well, there was no way to track plus zero. So they, they were smart about that. And that combines with this card to be able to track your health. And then we get to her deck herself. So the name on this is NSH. I don't know what that stands for. So far, these cards look safe. So nothing inappropriate in these cards. So good to know. So I'm going to go through them quickly and tell you what they are. You have Heshgina's Gaze. Nahema's Dream. Rwanda's Challenge. Okay, they're just throwing all the names in here. Rastula's Protection. Rastula's Foresight. Restula's Breeze, Coin Belt, The Veil, 
Ecstasy. So here, this is so far the most not safe for work element of this game. Uh, the Kunchcomer, that is an impressive looking melee weapon. The Waqueef. Etiquette. Dancing. Makes sense, right? School of Unadu. Throw. A Jin Lamp. A Golden Scorpion. Jump to Safety. Acrobatics. Self-control. Now we're into the generic cards that many characters have. Sleight of Hand. Anatomy. Throwing Knife. Sling. Shortbow. Danger Sense. Athletics. And Warfare. A Handful of Sand. Bewitch. Stargazing. And that is it for the 30-card hero deck. We're going to put those together with these. And there we have a character ready to play. Now we have the Orgy of Thorns adventure cards. There is a significant number of these. I don't want to spoil anything. What I will just show off is how thick this deck is. So one short adventure, it looks like, because this just says one. Oh, no, two. So it is a multi-act adventure. So we have chapter one with a few cards. Chapter two. So it is a two-act adventure. So not a short adventure, a two-act adventure. Then finally, we have New Henchmen. Again, I'm going to flip through these quickly. Okay, these are suggestive, but these aren't. These are fine. Maybe not safe for work. Definitely not safe for school. We have the Well-Endowed Saber Dancer. We have the Renegade Rahustra Master. We have the Flexible Bondage Artist. We have the er Attractive Erotic Artist. We have the Luscious Mage. The Strip Scorpion, Strict Scorpion Sister. The Friendly Maid. The Mistress of Flogging. The Capricious Warrior. And the Mistress of Mounting. A ton of new henchmen with keywords like Human Guard. Uh, the guard does specifically say they're Bellic Hello Guards, which is an area of the world. Human Mage Guard and Human Guards. So these could be tossed into any encounter with Human Guards. And that's it. That is what you get. Um, little silly box insert thing here. We're going to put her back in. We'll put the henchman back in. We will toss the rules on top and we'll close it up. And we're going to tip it because I failed at putting this lid on. There we go. There you have the Veil Dancer Hero Set for Adventuria, the adventure card game. So there you have it, what you get inside the box for Adventuria Veil Dancer Hero Set, an adults-only hero expansion for Adventuria, the adventure card game. Now note, as adults-only, it is adult content, there is an orgy involved, and you have some people in some scantily clad outfits, and there is mentions of things like bondage, but there is no actual erotic art or nudity or anything like that in this set. So that is a hero set, so you get one new hero to play and a two-act adventure that does require that hero, but can be played with up to five other heroes. So you are looking up to six players to be able to play through the adventure in here, as well as providing you with a new hero that you can use, of course, in any of your adventure expansions. So that's what you get in the box for the Veil Dancer hero set for Adventuria, the adventure card game from Ulysses Spiel. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I am the Tabletop Bellhop, Mo Tuzano. You can find my content all over the internet and at tabletopbellhop.com. You can find me on social media as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. And if you dig what you saw today and are interested in helping us keep continuing to produce content like this, be sure to check out patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and tip your bellhop. That's all I've got for tonight. Uh, this is an interesting looking expansion, not quite as suggestive 
as I expected it to be with the whole orgy of thrones and erotic adventure. I thought it might be a little more near, not safe for work than it is, but still looks interesting. I'm looking forward to trying this at some point. Good night and game on.